Hey folks, this is Alex the eBay guy here at Beckley's RVs in Thurmont, Maryland. And here we have a 1987 Travelmaster. Nicknamed the Big Bertha, this is part of the Signature Series. There is a model number for this, I will put it in the ad. Make sure to open the description, read the description, make sure you check out the pictures and everything that are right below this video. I've taken pictures of just about everything that you're going to want to want to see this has an aluminum roof um, it is a project camper it runs and it drives um, let's see what else do we know the tire date codes are 2016 I'll put some interior pictures in there don't see any evidence that it ever had any body damage to it um, obviously it has had leaks and uh, so forth over the years it's from 1987 what do you expect the tires are in decent condition. They would definitely pass an inspection. They are starting to show signs of dry rot cracking, but um, the the main part uh, is definitely all right. They'll do for they'll do for a year or two. There is a uh, puncture here. This is on the J molding. This is. Uh, uh, down, not, not, not J molding, but the skirting, which is down below the body. There's a little puncture here and a little puncture here. And also, uh, you've got some separation right down there where this uh, trim piece underneath is coming off. You've got a water heater here. This is a, a Atwood water heater. Throughout the video, you will see that there is uh, dryer sheets all over. The previous owners believe dryer sheets would keep the mice and stuff out. Don't see any mice turds, so I guess I guess they had something right there. Um, again, you got some opening here. Um, the whole coach, you just need to go over the whole coach and seal it up. This is really gonna be a, a project camper for somebody who's got the patience. You might wanna gut it. It's got some furniture inside and stuff you can use, but uh, it's got a good engine and transmission. It's got a Ford 460 engine in it, which is more than enough power for something this size. Uh, which is the 460, if for those who uh, aren't familiar with older engines, is uh, the Ford version of the big block. All right, going into the coach, I'm just going to zoom around here a little bit, give you a quick overview, and then we'll go into detail. There are two air conditioners on this coach. Both of them blow cold. This is newer than that one. That looks like an original one. This one was a replacement. This is the same model I have in my camper and it works great. There is a generator on board. You'll see the pics in the ad. The, uh, the generator starts and runs for about 30 seconds and then dies out. Most likely that's a carburetor issue. The gasoline that uh, we're getting today is uh, not the best. So the cabinets, they're all solid wood. All the cabinet doors look like they're here. I tried to do a count. Um, obviously, you can see that they started to spruce it up and do some work to it. There's a pile of cabinet doors here. There's a pile of cabinet doors in the bathroom. Um, they made some cushions, modified the table, put down some hardwood floor. It's not bad. If somebody wanted to have something to do a college vacation on or one-time road trip, something along those lines, this might might be the right one for you. Um, refrigerator, I, I can't, I don't know what to tell you with the refrigerator. I think at this point, uh, just from the overall condition of it, I would say take this out, put a 12 volt fridge in and call it a day. Uh, it may work, might not might but it might uh the gas stove seems to function okay there isn't uh any gas in the uh tank but the stove seems to function okay of course before you use any appliance on a used camper whether you're buying it from us or you're buying it from somebody else please have a qualified rv technician do a pressure leak test which is by the way included in our um uh, appliance check that I will talk about in the body of the description 
we off, it takes uh, two hours in the shop and we go through and we pressure test the water systems, the gas system, um, you know, tell you what's working and what's not working. The, uh, having an aluminum roof, it, um, it doesn't really have any major issues with water leakage on the roof. Obviously, you can tell the, there has been water in here before this just crinkle wallpaper, but the walls are solid. Um, you know, it's, it's a 36-year-old camper. It's going to have had water in there somewhere. Um, see, a little down there. Obviously, a repair has been made in the cab over sleeping area up here at one time the wood around this window is new same thing with this um, underneath here typically you see a lot of mildew and so forth it's actually not too bad and the other side's about the same i can't lift it up and hold the phone at the same time but not bad the front windows, everybody knows the front windows leak. This one, it's got a lot of caulk on it, so it, sh it should be okay now. I would just take it all off and start over again. Some people even close that window up. Um, I have one on mine. I'm lucky. It's it's doing pretty good, but it has new rubber on it, new, new gaskets. Great little starter for somebody. Great little project. Um, if you have any questions, call Alex, the eBay guy, 240-405-7790. 240-405-7790. This is Alex at Beckley's.